I decided to compile all my double counter guides into a single video, just so all the info related to double counter is in a single unified place. This guide will cover the process of opting out of double counters tracking via Doogle, along with how to bypass the auto detection as well. Chapters are provided so you can skip around. Before we start, I want to clear up some misconceptions with the original video series. Firstly, deleting a double counter data will not prevent you from being detected by double counter. In their privacy policy, it states exactly what they are doing when they're deleting your data. Secondly, this guide will not provide information on how to opt out of double counters tracking on an account that is deleted or banned. Unfortunately, there is no real process that you can go through to sort this out. I don't think contacting support will work either since multiple users have had issues contacting support because of the alt detection they implement, which is a bit counterintuitive on a support server. They should just provide a support email or something because it's fucking stupid. Thirdly, I no longer provide support on Discord. I only provide support in the YouTube comment section. Please don't DM me on Discord or add me. The reason for this is one, I lack the time to really manage this fully and I want to focus on other things but also because it is a nightmare to manage and there's a lot of safety concerns for my account, mainly with people trying to abuse Discord's reporting system to falsely ban someone by editing messages to make me look like a racist. So I am not going to be doing anything on Discord in terms of support. Feel free to comment on YouTube. I'm fine to do it there, but not on Discord. I just don't consider it safe for support due to that manipulation that you can do. Anyway, let's begin this guide. Hello, welcome to the main part of the guide. This is how to opt out of double counters tracking. Now, first off, you're gonna to wanna to join a server with double counter in it. Now, I recommend you join my server, which will be linked in the description. It's all pre-configured and ready to go. You just need to go into the nuke double counter here chat. And we'll just wanna start off by doing slash privacy. You want it to pop up like this. You don't want to just write it like a text message, like, like, like something like this. You don't wanna write it like this. You wanna do it like slash privacy like this. Now just wait for double counter to respond and well we'll have these options right here. Welcome to the double counter privacy manager. So we have well these little two things right here. Double counter lens and doodle. Now currently they're enabled which will be for most people like that. What we're going to want to do is press these two buttons down here. Opt out of lens which if you get that a moment you've opted out and then we can do opt out doodle and wait and now we've done that. If we can rerun the command we'll um, see that it's disabled and now one thing I'd recommend doing is now deleting your data. Press the delete data button and just give that a moment and double count will send you a DM. Your double count of PII has been entirely erased from our systems and it'll appear in your DMs right here. So that's how to, well, delete your double counter data. Just to add some extra things to note, this is not gonna, you know, prevent double counter from detecting you with an alt. It's just, it's just removing the data and removing the possibility of your double counter data, you know, your user data and everything being published on a website. You know, saying, hey, this username right here has these alt accounts. No, it's fu it's fucking spying at this point. Absolutely disgraceful, this spying that double counter does. Shame on you by making it public. Anyway, that's the end of this first guide. I'll be moving over to the second guide, which is how to bypass double counters detection systems. Anyway, let's move to that. Firstly, you can start by creating a new Discord account, since we're going to need a fresh slate to do this. As a disclaimer, if the server you're trying to join needs Discord phone verification in order to chat, then you're, then you're out of luck, unless you want to buy a temporary phone number. Secondly, you're going to need a second device that has never verified with Double Counter before, since Double Counter will check for the information within your web browser that can, that can identify you, mainly your IP address and browser slash user agent info. Thirdly, you'll need to change your IP address. The main way to do this is to unplug your router for 10 seconds and then plug it back in and your IP address should have changed. If you want to be sure, just note down your current IP address, which can be found by just searching what is my IP. After doing that, unplug the router for 10 seconds, then plug it back in and check your IP address. If your IP has changed, then you're all set. But if it did not, you may have a static IP, which is much harder to change and you'll need to go hunting for info on that yourself. The reason I have not mentioned a VPN or a proxy is that double counter can detect it or just changing your own IP won't trigger it since you're on a residential connection. Lastly, join the server or servers you were trying to join and go through the verification process on the second device. If you pass the verification process successfully, then congrats, you have bypassed double counters alt detection. You've reached the end of the video and well, thank you for watching. 
and I just want to thank everybody that has watched my content over this time, mainly my guides. It's been just fucking inspiring, just the amount of views I've gotten, and all the comments have gone. They're all really nice comments as well. A lot of people are seeking help, but there's just so many nice and pleasant comments there of people successfully bypassing double counter or people thanking me for providing this information. Um, and for a person like myself, it's it's just nice to see. I probably know, know that I'm probably not going to make big drops on YouTube, mainly because of just the type of content I make. Maybe I'll print, do more stuff on YouTube, maybe do some other content. I have plans, but they may take quite a bit of time. And I just wanted to make this sort of final video send off to the Double Cast Saga. Just putting everything together in one place. And just putting it out there. I just want to thank everybody who watched the videos. Uh, I've watched. And yeah, I just want to mention some little extra things. I'm, do I'm doing my BTEC right now in the second year of, like a, of an IT BTEC course. BTEC is just a vocational qualification that I'm doing in college. It is you know, painful. But IT has always been something that I've been interested in. And these guides, well, I mostly just created them because I wanted to help people. I wanted to make this information more accessible. Plus the process of getting past double counters, annoying crap. Just to make it simple, understandable, and also accessible to those people who need it. And I know there's a lot of people who, you know, who watch maybe that no text to speech video talking about Dougal. And like, I don't have any idea how to, well, how to create eat a Discord server to add a bot, which I know there are a lot of people like that, because Discord users aren't always, well, let's just say, the best at technology, and I get it. You know, Discord is such an accessible and easy to use platform, that you sort of, you don't really engage that technical aspect of your brain. You, uh, it's, sorry if I'm sounding a bit elitist in this, I'm... I know a lot about IT, and I can just sometimes sound like that. But genuinely, I, re I, I really get the issues that people are having with technology and everything. It's just not an easy field for people to really get into, especially understanding technology. There's so many people are getting brought up on mobile devices nowadays. It's insane. And just the technological literacy I, illiteracy I just see, even in college, a lot of students in my class are slightly clueless to the computer, even though they're on an IT course. It's mind-boggling, just the amount of see. I mostly brought myself up on the computer. I, I use my mobile devices quite a bit, but I do most things on the computer, and now I do basically everything on a desktop computer. It... And so I sort of taught myself over time how to use Windows. Then eventually I decided to dip into Linux a bit. Well, I record this entire video on Windows because the computer I'm on is running just Windows. And it's sometimes easier to edit on Windows because DaVinci Resolve um, plays a lot nicer on Windows. Same with Audacity. But I just want to make these guys to help people. That's all I can really say. Just, I want to help people and make this information known to everyone. That you can bypass double counters, uh, uh, utter abhorrent tracking, in easily, and with not much effort. Anyway, this is just a little heart to heart I wanted to add at the end, and you may not see me upload a video for a while, but I just want I just want you guys to know that I might come up come up with something in the near future or maybe next year. Anyway, goodbye for now.